Greetings folks, Joseph Kursky here with you. Let's talk about something that's easy to do and yet powerful. And it's often done inside Spatial Analyst, inside ArcMap, which is inside ArcGIS. And, and that is creating an aspect map. Creating an aspect map. Aspect is the direction of slope, okay? Now in my case, I've got a traditional elevation grid here. Let me show you what this looks like. Here's my elevation grid. This is a seven and a half minute chunk of the Earth's surface. Seven and a half minutes of longitude, seven and a half minutes of latitude. And so the reason why it's, it's longer this way than this way, right, is because I'm not on the equator, right? So I've got this narrowing of lines of longitude as I go toward the poles. This is around uh, 42 degrees north latitude in the wonderful Lewis Hills of eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. Okay, so I've got a, di a digital elevation model, which was created from original topographic contour lines. I want to make an aspect map. I want to figure out the direction these slopes face, because maybe I'm looking at soil erosion, and I'm in interested in north-facing versus south-facing slopes. There's all kinds of interesting things that you can do with aspect maps. And think outside the box with me for a moment, folks. You don't have to make just aspect maps of terrain, right? It could be the direction of the slope of your pH value for soils, or your temperature grid, or your your grid of crime or whatever. What the aspect is uh, could lead to some additional understanding of your phenomena. So in this case, it's a traditional direction of physical hills in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and search on aspect in the search box. And so I'm going to go to Spatial Analyst because that's the, the tool that I'm in right now. I'm not doing anything with 3D. And as the aspect tool dialog will show us, it'll ask for an input folder an input grid. In my case, my input raster is my digital elevation model. Be careful what you put in here. It can create an aspect map of a hill shade, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, uh, and other things. So it, it can do an aspect of anything, but make sure that you're actually making an aspect map from your original elevation uh, data, or your original pH, or whatever you've got. Okay, so my output raster, I'm going to call it aspect one. And uh, great, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's going to shade, as you can see, my map depending on the direction of slope. As you can see, I'm going to take the defaults here. The west-facing slopes are in this bluish color. The east-facing slopes are in this yellowish color. So if I zoom in over here, I'm going to be able to see that you know, there must be a, a ridge in here. Because look, this slope faces, uh, oh no, this is a this is a valley in here, right? Because this, this slope on the west faces east, and this slope on the on the east actually faces west. So huh, let's just verify that. Let's take a look at the hill shade there. Yeah, that is a valley. So that makes sense. OK. And another th nice thing you can do is you can go to properties and go to display. And you can actually make this aspect map uh, you know, like a 40% transparent layer. And that, well, let's, let's go ahead and, and we've got a hill shade here. So let's turn that on and zoom out a little bit. So now we've got, you know what, I'm going to just tweak that a bit more because uh, I'm not able to see the hill shade behind it very well. So now we've got, ah, OK. Now we've got this hill shading behind the aspect map. And you can see that just a little bit better. And another thing you can do is you can go over here to Customize, Toolbars, and there's an Effects tool. Uh, and there's something called a Swipe. So if I'm going to go ahead and swipe my, my aspect map, and I'm going to go ahead and go over here and see now I can see the, this sort of thing. I see my shaded relief there and my aspect map. So that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and identify. And so right here, I'm going to click on one of these blue, blue um, uh, aspect pixels. And I can see that the aspect on this one is 276, which means right zero is due, facing due north. Due south is 180. Due east is 90 and due west is 270. So in this case, it's a little bit north of due west that this slope is actually facing. And so that's why you've got this bluish color, as you can see there on the, on the legend uh, on that uh, left side there. You can see the legend indicating blue for west. So easy way to create an aspect map inside Spatial Analyst, which is part of, of the ArcMap application inside ArcGIS from ESRI. Thanks.